WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this TFNN noon update. I am also the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Let's go to the market. Dow's down 25 at 25,050. The low today went just underneath 25,000. And you remember last week we were talking about a lot of resistance levels. We spoke about the little doji candle on Thursday, um, where for subscribers we wanted to actually try to shorten this shorting. But now we're looking at a market. Market. Let's pull back just a little bit. But the big thing here is the technicals. Look how strong the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence is in the daily and the weekly and, and the daily stochastic is at 91%. The weekly is making this cup formation, uh, testing a double top. Same thing in the S&P. Look at the S&P. The S&P is a little stronger than the Dow right now. It's up one and a quarter. It's trading at 2,999. Also made a little bit of a top at 3020. That was under the previous hour of 3,027, just as the Dow um, um, uh, was uh, pulling back over the last few days. So the S&P is, look at the MACD and stochastic, still very strong. That does give support. Doesn't mean to say that you're going to break to the upside because of it, because there is a lot of resistance. But it also says at this point, we should have good support. Same thing in the weekly chart. And look at the QQQ index 100. This is much stronger in a certain sense, because the monthly chart is only, a, it's, hardly pull back. It's looking very good. Uh, daily made that peak D in the, at 194.71, underneath the 195.55 all-time high. We're looking at um, a pretty decent uh, pr uh, time rather than price uh, consolidation here. And the IWM, which was leading uh, for a little, couple of days, is now down 53 cents at 157.23. Um, we'll see whether or not it can get into the 160s in September. That'll be a big thing. Now, what's interesting is that gold, uh, gold is up a, a dollar here, but look, it's just stuck in the range. Even with all this international conflagration going on, look what's happened. Gold, remember we said stuck in a range, made a peak that should take time and some price. And if you look at the dollar, the dollar is acting uh, pretty well uh, up until yesterday. Now today it's giving back some in the 98.35 range. It's also just consolidating. What's really interesting is crude oil. Now we're looking at crude oil, which had a huge move up. One of its biggest moves that I, in, in points is, uh, that I can ever recall. But it's giving back quite some today. It's down three right at now at, at 59.97. We'll talk more about it in my show coming up in a couple of minutes. The TLT, which is the uh, bonds, having a bit of a bounce. 